Okay, let me, I'm going to say two things that are true about Gary. He's packing. Uh-oh. Yeah. They're okay. going to be knocking. Who cares? I, it ain't my problem no more. Right, let him. Right. I want him to be happy, and he is really, really funny. You can ask me, listen, you can ask me whatever you want to ask me. If I don't want to answer, I'm going to tell you, I'm not answering it. Okay. Okay. So, well, let's start here then. Okay. Um, now that, you know, you probably had some time mm -hmm. to, you know, reflect and things have settled down a bit. Um, do you feel a sense of responsibility or any guilt around your divorce in terms of what may have led Gary to filing? No. This is what I think. I think people move in the direction that they want to move in. I think um, a person's cheating has nothing, like his cheating or whatever he was out there doing, they don't have nothing to do with me. That's on him, right? So I never felt responsible. Like someone could say, maybe you should have left earlier. You know, someone could say that. Um, and yeah, or the financial situation I found myself in, I feel responsible about that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because I didn't put money away and I never thought it would be a money issue. I never thought I'd be fighting over money. So someone could say that. But in terms of how he moved or any guy, you know what I mean? No, I think people do what they want to do. Mm -hmm. And I also think that, you know, I don't have to be mad or bitter or really even angry. I, and I was never angry about that part of it. Um, I, don't, I don't have to worry about all that because I know I'm going to be good. I know in terms of men and dating, I don't have a problem. So I was never worried like, oh my God, you know, like people say they're going to be by themselves forever. That was never my worry. You know what I mean? Ever. So I'm not worried about that. I was just more concerned with, uh, because I did. I was not smart enough to make sure should something ever happen, mm -hmm. I would be okay. You know, that I had to rebuild or kind of figure it out that way. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's, those are the type of things I would feel bad or guilty, but not the reason why we got divorced or mm -hmm. Do I regret anything? No, not really. Okay. You know, but maybe I will in a couple of years. Right now, I don't regret shit, just to be honest. No. Okay. So you had mentioned, you know, that when you, um, you like to seek guys that make you feel, you Hold know. Hold up. I'm not good at seeking. I'm not good at texting. So they got to, <laughs> they, they got to get to me somehow, some way through a DM, through Facebook, through a friend. Um, so, but I like what I like okay. and I like them chocolate. Okay. I feel you. Yeah. Okay. You like them chocolate. I, I know girl. Let me just say, I don't even fool with the breast no more. I used to only eat the chicken breast. I don't even fool with that no more. I'm straight dark meat. Period. Oh, you sound like, um, JD Mai from, Who? um, is that what she said? She said, basically she only dates, um, dark meat on a side and then she went and married young Jeezy, but whatever. That's uh, kind of like reverse. Oh yeah. That's funny no, though. I do. I like. I like them chocolate. Is there a difference in terms of sexual? Um, okay, let me, I'm going to say two things that are true about Gary. He's packing. Uh-oh. Yeah. They're okay. going to be knocking. Who cares? I, it ain't my problem no more. Right. Let them. Okay, so he uh -oh. is packing. And <laughs> um, I want him to be happy. And he is really, really funny. Yeah. Even yeah. after me, he will probably still be funny. Mm -hmm. So those are two things that are real. So um, I didn't, I've never had a, you know, in terms of a white guy, uh, it, it was, that wasn't a disappointment. Was he your sense. first white guy? Well, I lived in Santa Barbara, okay? Oh, yeah. So, so. no, I've had other white guys, but, but wow. my number is still in single digits, okay? <laughs> so, um, but my mother was always like, please try to meet a black guy. Please try to meet a black It was just no black guys were coming up to me and I'm not good at approaching.